Four girls were brunching in Manhattan one morning, after one of them had been dumped on Instagram. Except they weren't all girls, they weren't all single, and they were eating leftover potatoes in a Brooklyn apartment. Two were single, one was in a few relationships, and one was going steady with someone. Three were non-binary, and one was a woman. Those that listen to NPR and those that lie about it. Those that ghost and those that text back. Two lived in Bushwick, and two lived in Red Hook. We were desperately trying to decode my latest breakup. I'd met him one day after my shift at a clothing shop in Greenwich, and we went from bar to bar, and he paid for us to get into some classic downtown gay party playing Britney and Ariana. We made out to no tears left to cry, and that was that. His name was Alex. He broke up with me over a DM. Oh, hon, that's awful. Honestly, Byron, honey, that's just his MO. He ain't shit. Byron, you should block him. Just get it out of your system. It doesn't really matter what you do. You should just, like, like all of his Instagram photos to spite him. It was a jagged feeling to wake up after that dream and realize how much Maya was occupying my mind. I wanted to see her again, but that felt complicated. The idea of us seeing each other was very clearly eating at Thorne, despite his reluctance in opening up about those feelings. I wanted to text her, but didn't have anything to say, and chasing these feelings while everything with Thorne is left unresolved just didn't feel right. I struggled with the earlier stages of my transition. I knew who I was to become, but wasn't quite there yet, and it was easy to be called he or him. It was very gratifying to watch people catch and correct themselves. It showed that they would support me. As I progressed into the later stages of my transition, I have started to be perceived as a woman more and more. People are more likely to call me miss, ma'am, bad bitch, and things of that sort. Respecting one's pronouns is akin to respecting one's personal space or even body. Pronouns indicate a person's third person sense of self or their gender. I like third gender much more. Let's stick with that. Part of me worried it was too good to be true. A monogamous person, really chill, dating me? And she's so sure of herself, and I'm so not. Still, I felt the endorphins from having an official girlfriend rolling through my blood. And then I felt anxious again. Do partnerships take energy away from wholesome platonic friendships? Could I have a girlfriend and still be a good socialist? When I first moved here, I got so homesick because everyone seemed so cold and so distant, and now I've become the cold and distant one. I hide myself, so much of myself, even from Jane. The idea of queer community can only go so far when queer isolation runs deep. Would being with Jane get rid of my feelings of isolation or deepen them? Could I be a socialist without being a socialite? The non-binary Carrie Bradshaw is a queer, trans, DIY take on Sex and the City. The first two episodes drop April 14th.